seems to work. Oh my goodness, this is my third trial and I'm desperate, but I'm glad that I'm here. Oh my goodness, after like so many technical difficulties, I'm definitely not used to stream anymore, but I'm live. Yoohoo! Hopefully it will work. I apologize for my look, because as you can clearly tell, I'm in the new foreigner. Actually, this is my studio there. I'm usually filming my, my videos on that, you know, like perfume background. And here I have this little house. It's literally tiny, but um, there are some packages on it that I've been saving, receiving, not opening, because I really want to do that with you on camera. So thumbs up this stream if you enjoy uh, watching like live unboxings of perfumes. Um, I'm not sure if you can see or hear me, so I would really appreciate if you could um, write something in the chat. And uh, yeah, just let me know um, how are you doing, what's what's going on, and um, stuff like that. I actually see that uh, my thumbnail is still not an updated one. That's not good. But let's change that. I know that I'm always so all over the place. I really apologize for that, but. Please, guys, just let me know if you can see and hear me well, and that would be awesome. So, um, thumbs up the video so more people can join and um, actually check it out. And um, I hope that you're doing well. It's Friday night, right? So, um, in case you're home and you are watching the stream, I'm really glad that you're here. Um, and I wanna hold the oh my god see it's like the problem because maybe not everyone knows that I'm streaming I actually announced the stream to you hours earlier and uh, I'm late as always but I really wanted to eat so here we go just wanna let people know join a live unboxing oh my god so I would love you to thumbs up the video and just put something in the chat so it can go up and more people will be notified to join the live unboxing. Okay, so here we go. Let's post it. Um and yeah, let's put that aside. So should I just get started? Because I have a few packages, as I told you. Mm, maybe. Oh, can you put me in the phone? Maybe this one. Yes. Okay. This seems to work better. Good. So, uh, should we start with the biggest one or with this Zara? Actually, I have a story to tell you about it. Um, hello, Anastasia. I see you. Hi. So, um, it's going to be a live unboxing, monthly stream. Haven't filmed them in a while. And um, I'm excited. So, which one? Should I start with? I think we can begin with the Zara, right? So um, I actually bought this perfume because I smelled it on a stranger in the train. And she smelled so good um, that I've been like 
you know, doubting should I say something and compliment her or not, but then I was like, if someone did that to me, I would be really glad because it's, you know, very nice to receive compliments that it hurts you. So I was like, okay, she said it. <laughs> but he was like, I won't ask what it is. You should do that yourself. So like after a couple of minutes, I was like, what perfume are you wearing? And she's like, it's good? I said, yeah, it's Zara. So in the sense, I'm like, doesn't matter. Zara has great fragrances. So um, she actually promised to send me a picture of it. You can't hear me? Oh my God, I, I don't know. Good morning, Andrea. Um, guys, all people who are watching, please tell if you can hear or not, because I can't increase my microphone. Please tell me if you can hear me well or bad. Please let me know. I, I will check myself. Okay, you can, but it's not loud enough. Okay. That's not good. Oh, okay. On my phone, it works pretty well. So. I'm sorry, maybe you can turn up the volume. I can hear you, but yes, not so loud. Benjamin, I can hear you, but this is the best. Um, is Okay, I think it's it means not the best. I'm sorry, I mean like, I'm filming in this new corner for me, so the room is still quite big and there is not much furniture in here, so that will, it will change hopefully. I just need, you know, like to save some money to buy stuff. Um, so <laughs> you can help me <laughs> if you want to donate on buying a coffee website. Um, get closer to the mic. Okay, then I'll be like cut. My head is going to be cut, but um, it's fine. Actually, I checked from the um, phone and it seemed to work. So sorry. Anyway, um... I was telling you the story, how I smelled this perfume on a girl in the train, and um, um, yes, Alan, hello, hello, nice surprise. I've actually announced the live stream, if you check the YouTube, I posted today that I'll be uh, streaming, because it's last Friday of the month, and that's when I usually uh, film these streams and chat with you guys, but today I am late, two hours late. That's like even a huge delay for me, uh, even for me. But anyway, I'm here and this perfume, the girl sent me the photo of it and I went to the shop and thankfully it was there. Not quite the um, version of the fragrance she had because um, the bottle of her was see-through and mine, I hope you can see it. Ooh, that's so cute is um, all uh, um, you can't see anything the juice is hidden behind this like lacquer hot pink bottle that totally matches my lipstick you probably can tell on camera but it's like hot pink bright matte neon just like bottle so um, let's spray it on. I bought the perfume. It's like the same one, but once again, the bottle is slightly different. So maybe there is slight um, difference in the way they smell. And it's called Plink, Plink, Pink Flambe Z uh, Zara Weekend 01. So I will be spraying all the perfumes I'm opening today Ow. Uh, on myself. So. Let's do that. I'm sorry about the mic. That's unfortunate, but I can't help. I can't help. Maybe I can do it this way. What do you think? Let me know if it's better. Oh, you can hear perfectly, right? I mean, like, I checked on my uh, phone and it was all right. So, guys, you need to... Turn up the volume. Anyway, um, I will be spraying all the perfumes on myself and since it's really late and I'll be showering right after the stream, maybe I should better pull, 
put it on my closing look at my trousers are all in Indian uh, food anyway I'm rambling as always um, oh yeah I'm like it's like a sweet scent but on her it was so fresh and clean and refreshing and I don't know how much she sprayed but I sat right next to her okay like literally we sat like this I was here and she was here right here and I smelled it all the time and it's just like this beautiful clean scent you know what I'm talking about so um, I'm not quite sure about the notes we can check of course pink flambe let's do that oh now it's actually turning sweeter and I can't really say that it smells expensive actually it's not necessarily um, super expensive scent but um, it's like a nice cloud so it says bergamot lemon sorbet and cashmere mm, I smell like sweets in there that's pretty weird right but um, I liked it and um, I find it's actually a fun summer scent so um, this is the one I've just recently purchased Alan says I'd love to know what everybody is wearing today me scent of the day is autumn Oterna by Decentra and Ooh, nice. I don't know. I don't think I know that one. Yeah, actually, when I first started the stream, because this is my third stream today, tonight, um, I actually put in the comments what fragrance are you wearing right now? Boom. So, you guys we wanna know anyway that was the first unboxed perfume let me know if you like Zara fragrances even they're like inexpensive perfumes 10 euros for this one and whoa it's quite strong packaging is difficult though cherry and by fragrance <gasps> it's interesting that you are mentioning fragrance up the I have something on my way. I'm really excited for those perfumes that um, are on my way from Fragranza. Let me know if you would like me to talk about them soon because um, I got them for a video but maybe you want to see them a bit earlier because um, I have quite a collection of the fragrances sitting somewhere down in the shelf um, behind the laptop but um, I have some new fragrances on their way to me. Mm, so how, what is this Cherium? Is it like their original creation or is it like um, a clone of something? Oh, Anastasia wears Tiziana Terenzi, um, Cassiopeia. Wow, so everyone is in the Terenzi. Okay, so since you're mentioning Terenzi, I actually have something from them. Who is excited? While we are talking about Tiziana uh, Terenzi, let's actually continue with her fragrance. I'm sorry. Indian food, you know, spicy, salty. I need my food now. Hi, Bilbo. How are you? Oh, you're wearing BDK Velvet Tongue Country. Ooh, that's like a bear. Please tell me I'm here. Please, please, did I disappear? No. Please. I have such a weird mix of samples on me. Hi, Aneta. Whispered myths from imaginary authors. You don't like. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I remember you didn't like that much. Alapon Fire California Snow. How is it, by the way? I kind of like the name because I like California, but is it like a reference to drugs? And Ormond Jane, Ormond Man. Ooh. Oh, I'm here. That's great because my connection just disappeared. I have really bad connection right here uh, on the roof. <laughs> so it's tricky to film here. But anyway, um, for those who have just joined, I have here like one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, seven perfumes. Um, this one, Pink Flambe by Zara, that I smelled on a stranger in the stream and was really attracted to it. It's already unboxed, so 
Um, let's put that somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Here. Those are all. Um, here I have seven and I have uh, some more. I will grab them later. But um, we are talking about Terenzi. Are you excited, guys? Where are my scissors? I had them somewhere here. Oh no. I lost the scissors and without them it's going to be complicated. How did they end up under the pillow? I don't know. Anyway, the Stella Terenzi package contains something really good. I know that. I know that for sure. as usual that can be tricky sometimes oh my god usually I let someone else to unbox the perfumes so Anastasia there are so many by Vuitton Trinity Cassiope is one I haven't sampled but it's on my wish list yeah a lot of people rave about it is it like a fruity one? Oh my god so much waste why do they put so many plastic things in there. So I have some samples. What are these? Oh, these are actually the new ones. This is Leo. Love the name. This is Tyrannum. Tyrannum, like a Tyrann. And this is Acrogas. I think we'll smell all of them. So give the video a thumbs up right now, guys, because that way it will be pushed and suggested to other people that would be amazing so um you know it will get higher in the ranking plus i got some brand new to fan trendy perfumes from 2020 so if you're excited to find out how they smell make sure to stay with us but oh my god yeah this is heavy Whew. so let's check out what do we have here oh my god God, this color. Love it. Green is not my favorite color, but I really like it because my um, ascendant is Virgo and it is ruled by Mercury and it's the green color, you know. So I'm a weirdo Virgo. Oh my God. Look at this bottle. Isn't it fantastic? I am shocked. I literally don't want to take it out of the bottle, but of the box. <laughs> it's late. I shouldn't stream so late so I can talk at this time of night. Anyway, uh, unboxings are like, you know, very time consuming. I hope you enjoy this kind of video. Um, Aneta said California snow is a little bit weird, dusty, a little bit like basement. Oh no, you know, I don't like soil in my fragrances. There is like light snow that appears a little bit later in the dry down, a little bit laundry, and very clean. Oh, clean and soil? Like, so perfumes like with a basement vibe, with the note of a soil. I don't like them much because. They, they, they smell so dirty and not in a sexy, animalic way, you know, like those fragrances can smell soil. The fragrance just literally smell of earth and dirt. And I'm just not a fan of them. Let me know if you actually like that sort of energy in your fragrance. And um, if you have a favorite perfume that would smell like that. So, um... I would like to know that generally because I'm, I'm not the fan, but maybe you are, but I don't want to smell like I spend the day in the basement. You know what I'm talking about, but let's smell this perfume, brand new, from Queen of the Panther range by Stemma Trancy and Paula Trancy, of course, with perfumer, which is called PDF, PDF. Um, it says this creation is inspired by the great Italian painter and mathematician 
Piero della Francesca, without doubt one of the most iconic and influential figures of the whole Italian Renaissance. PDF is the artistic creation designed for those who love to open their hearts to the wonder of discovery on their wings of harmony and sophisticated seduction. So, transparency, definitely sophisticated. Hello, Baba. Oh, you like unboxing videos? That's great. Um, so, oh, Yana challenged by the box. Okay, no, no, no. We'll get there sooner or later. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Probably I'm the most awkward person to unbox perfumes, but that's fine. You ready for the bottle? Okay, you'll fall down when you see the color because it's like freaking stunning. It's like a freaking neon green. Oh my god, like. I love these designs from Quinto Canto that are now coming in like super neon bright colors. They launched actually so many. They have the entire rainbow and I love that. So amazing presentation. Tatiana and Paula Jurensky really nail it every time. And look at this bottle. This is probably the coolest bottle I own. <laughs> I just love the color. This color is very, very attractive to me. They have like a bright, um, like hot pink, and I didn't like the scent. I was so attracted to the bottle, but I didn't like the scent so much. And now I really want it, just like you know, to put them on the shelf next to each other. Um, so Annette said, yeah, at the beginning it's like you're in the basement and going through the soil, and you're going out to the morning light where the laundry is drying. It's interesting, need to test a little bit. Okay, um, and you're not the fan of soil notes like in the bad from zoologist. Uh, no, like bad from, from zoologist definitely not a wearable perfume to me. It's like really off-putting. Yes, the color is amazing. Let's spray it on. I'm, I'm really excited for this one. I know it smells really good. I smelled it. Um, so where should I put it? I can't look at my trousers. They are sort of like matching the flakes from the Indian food there. Match this photo. Um, anyway, let's put it right here. Oh my god, it's like a salty vanilla. Oh, so beautiful with, um, with a flower actually. I, I like the combination of notes in here. It's like salty and marine like oceanic and a lot of vanilla flowers sweet so it's like salty sweet floral amazing i really find it creative um they don't have anything quite like it at least i don't know anything that would be similar to it this is a very unique perfume from Terence. you know like sometimes they release absolute masterpieces that are unique and are like nothing else and sometimes they release perfumes that would be a bit more similar to what's trendy, you know, like uh, in the perfume world at the moment. So I say that PDF is definitely a super unique and original and very interesting scent because it combines, you know, like saltiness of seaweed, uh, sweetness of caramel and vanilla, and also uh, the floral sea of rose and other flowers. So. Uh, very beautiful, very pleasant, uh, very summery, wearable, well, projects nicely, has this almost like metallic quality of a seaweed, but not to the point that it's going to be um, too harsh, and I actually really enjoy the sweetness in there. Let's read the notes. There on the box. So it says all Italian. Mirto di Sardegna, del Alga Marina, del Adriatico, Vanilla Bourbon, della Rignon e Café Arabo, Sal di Servia, Timoroso, Rosa Bulgara, Rosa Bulgara e del Zonio Sambac Indiano, Pomarin Mas. 
Pedro de Atlas, Hector Amelio Italiano. Okay, that was probably absolutely wrong, but uh, I can tell you there is rose, uh, there is coffee, um, there, there, are, there is seaweed, um, there is vanilla, and yeah, you got it. <laughs> anyway, I was really excited for this project. And should we go on with the um, new Tutsian Trancy perfumes? I actually really want to smell them. I think they're gonna be quite interesting. There should be like a citrus uh, fragrance in there. It's gonna be nice for the summertime. So let me know if you uh, own anything from Winter Canter Range. And if so, um, what's like your favorite perfume from them? And what do you think about this fragrance? How does it sound to you? Okay. I want to go on with Tirano, Tirano, Tirano. I don't know what to think about the name. Yeah, it's salty sweet coffee. It's like you're drinking coffee with some salt in there. Quite original, don't you think? So anyway, Tirano, Tirano. I think I will spray it on my skin. Don't know what to expect. Oh, masculine, thrushy. Okay, there is a lot going on, but right away it had like more of a masculine opening. Like a fresh, aromatic, spicy, citrus. Has a bit of metallic nuance in there. Hmm. definitely more masculine type of fragrance and something very like mm, ma massive feeling you know that you might have already smelled even in the shop or on your colleague so definitely a safe fragrance oh my god now it smells I don't want to call it sperma this is probably absolutely wrong and disturbing and weird for sure but it has like this metallic thing going on, you know, like fishy. Does it make sense? Like metallic fish, you're at the seashore and you're buying fresh fish. My God, now I'll check the nose and there are going to be only flowers, but I'm not kidding you. It's very weird. Oh my God. So the creation is inspired by the famous city in Puglia, now known as Trani, once known as Tiranum, a land battered by the sea. Oh my god, I am not out of my mind. And lashed by the wind, where for centuries sailors from all over the world have loved to take refuge, captivated by the enchanting beauty. Okay, so sailors, boats that are returning from the sea with freshly caught fish. This is the vibe of this perfume. For sure. Okay, now it makes sense. Paul and Tatiana's search for the scent of salt continues. They are now landed in beautiful Puglia to discover sea salt and its olfactory characteristics. Trani is known by the motto, the beauty that looks over the sea, because all of its greatest monuments face the sea and are reflected in it. A sunset stroll along the city's seafront can take one's breath away and leave travelers enraptured forever. The bond with the sea is strong and unbreakable, just like Tyrannum, fragrance that captures its spirit of wonder on the wings of the intense breezes that gather the, sm the smell of salt and the pinkish white tough limestone stones and distinguish the city in the colors and reflections of the great blue of the Adriatic. Okay, so what do you think, guys? <laughs> yes, um, I kind of thought about that, Anetta. Secretion, secretions magnifique made by Tiziana. Something, yeah, something in that style. So the creation opens with the effervescent and innovative citrus bouquet in anchoring Reggio Calabria bergamot and Brazilian orange. Embrace the sparkling delight of Himalaya osmanthus and Sri Lankan green tea, softened by the strength of Puglia caramel. This exhilarating balance of fresh sugary notes settles 
on the hard note of the fragrance, where the power of sea breeze blows, carrying the scent of uh, iodine. Iodine, like yacht, right? Like that you can find in the sea, yacht, you know that? Yeah, I smell it here, for sure, so cool. And Adriatic salt, tenacious as the stone on which the city was founded. Uh, founded. The um, perceive, the deceived notes of the precious Foglia olive wood and Indian patchouli mixed with the aphrodisiac uh, perceives per <laughs> of musk and ambergris, a precious gift of the sea supported by the vigor of trani stone on the cap Harris of Madagascar vanilla berries. Tyranium captures the spirit of the sea breeze in the sunset of the sea on summer evenings, enveloping those who cast their eyes beyond the horizon in hypnotic mystery. Oh my god, what a story. Are you still here, guys? I need to rest. Ah, I dropped the sample. Okay, the first thing was dropped. So, once again, like, apparently they're obsessed with salt, and if you follow... Tiziana and Paolo on Instagram, they often post from their boat, you know, somewhere in Italy, in the sea, it's always very nice. And it's cool that they are getting inspiration from there. Uh, from there. I can definitely tell you this is not like the easiest perfume, but it is surely creative. But if you want something like salty and sweet, I would much rather recommend you this um, you know, PDF, because it also has sea, weed note, salt, and some sweet, like vanilla and caramel, but it's much, yeah, it's much more pleasant than uh, Tyranium. Tyranium is definitely for hardcore lovers of more metallic, salty scents. Mm. So, um... I'm not quite sure um, it's going to be everyone's thing, but it's kind of interesting. There is green tea, I'm not getting much of it. And I find it's interesting, like olive tree, cool. And I said it's like a fresh, right? So there was bergamot, there was orange, but also caramel in the opening, not getting much of that. C notes for sure, and agree absolutely. Salt 100%. But I'm not getting the caramel, for example, nor I do green tea or samantha. But that's just my nose. Maybe I should just carry on. Tyranium, definitely pretty interesting. Now, Leo, fragrance with an amazing name. Let's spray it off. Once again, no idea what to expect. But I know that there should be like a very citrus scent. Maybe it's it, but more flowers. Oh, wow, it's powdery. Wait a minute, this is powdery. It's like, wow, it's like almost a boudoir fragrance. Wait. No, it's citrus, but it's so powdery. It's a powdery citrus. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I definitely need to wear it out, not at night in the room wearing some other perfumes, you know, like give it a proper wear time. Like up to first impression, citrus, yes, flowers, yes, maybe even some sweet notes, but powdery, so cool. Okay, it's definitely way more me than the previous Tyranno. Random is not necessarily me in the opening, but I really like Leo. Oh, I have everything right here. Oh, this is so cool that they put the notes um, on the huge sample. So this one has, um, let me know if you can see and hear me because I'm not sure. And if you've just joined, we have here an unboxing of some new and cool fragrances. And please give this video a huge thumbs up right now so it can be suggested to other people. Anyway, uh, what we have in Leo by Tiziana Trenzi is um, Brazilian orange, South African kumquat, bergamot and Sicilian mandarin, Indian jasmine, sambac, Bulgarian rose, violet leaves, Italian magnolia, ambergris, myrrh and oak with the cedar, 
sandalwood, musk, benzoin, and tonka. So a lot of notes, very hard um, to pinpoint what's going on in there, but I am liking it a lot. It's, it's just like a complex sand that can be worn on everyday basis and it's lovely. I like Leo and I like the name a lot. Um, I wanna have it now for the name and for the actual, actual, actual beautiful fragrance. What is your favorite perfume from Tiziana Transi? And what perfume are you wearing today, guys? Right now, what is it that you're wearing? Because I would like to know. And this is just a beautiful scent. Very nice. Anyway, the final one is Acrogas. And maybe this is going to be the secrecy one that I remember. Is it like a powdery secrecy? Um, yeah, maybe like I should wear it a bit more, but I like that the citruses don't make it too sour or like citric, if you know what I'm talking about, because sometimes that can happen to perfumes. If there are a lot of citruses, they just smell, you know, fresh and citric, and I'm not a big fan of those kind of fragrances. And in here, they just provide the fra fragrance with enough of freshness without making it uh, like a citrus dominant perfume because there is still like a lot of floral sea and a lot of even base notes but it's on the fresh side um god of fire wow how does it smell i don't know that brand i'm not a big fan of saint Renzi. they are a little bit too intense for me i realize that i prefer more calm fragrances that don't perform too much Ooh, that's interesting. Maybe then you would like something like DSH. <laughs> okay, so this is actually Leo is not a loud one, but uh, we have the final Acrogas. Let's let's test it out. Okay, wait. This is completely different. Is it like pine or like some green thing? I know it. What is it? Is it oiko? No, it's not eucalyptus. It's not. It's not menthol. But it's like lemon, verbena. What? What is it? I know this. It's like definitely herbaceous, herbal, citrus, lemon, pine, needle, something like that. Woody. Okay, I'm driving crazy. Now, if I check the notes, I will definitely recognize it. Um, but I don't know. Sicilian myrtle, Mediterranean seaweed, once again. The third perfume today with uh, the seaweedy thing. Grapefruit. Is it grapefruit? No. Thyme. Maybe thyme. Uh, salt. Oh my god, they are obviously obsessed with salt. Uh, cedar, musk, patchouli, vanilla. Okay, very strange. I smelled something green in there. This is so weird. So, Acrogas was an ancient name for what is now Agrigento, a very famous city in southern Sicily, known for its enchanting natural beauty and the beautiful valley of the temples. A priceless heritage site has been admired since the days of Magna Graetia and has been impeccably preserved to this day. The spirit of the wonder of the Agrigento region in a drop of salty, fascinating perfume. It is definitely fascinating. I need to agree with that. This scent is fascinating and especially by the time in myrtle like i bet that's actually what i'm getting so much of maybe those are like herbal green notes i'm pretty sure they are let me know if you have experienced some fragrances with them i've surely smelled them in perfumes before but not to the extent i would say i am very you know like uh familiarized with them uh, but um, nonetheless, it's very interesting, definitely a winner for me. 
actually I, I liked all of them it's it's funny how they are into um, salty perfumes If you like salt, if it's like a favorite note, I think you will actually really like this collection. Yeah, it smells maybe a little bit like an herbal tea. Hmm, interesting. What does it smell like herbal pura to you? The God of Fire? I actually don't like herbal pura. They have so many fragrances similar to it out there these days and I'm just I there is like a note in there in Arabophora that I can't really stand I don't know if it's, if it's like an amber or a musk molecule I'm pretty sure it's something like that but it's really not my thing like absolutely not my favorite this is cool I find like although I'm not big a fan of green perfumes this is nice I actually want to show you perfume by Terenzi that's similar to Herbapura in case someone likes that and something that's similar to Herbapura that I can actually enjoy myself. So Tiziana Terenzi has this fragrance, um, Andromeda, that is very similar to Herbapura. And uh, the brand the brand Kajal has this perfume, Almas, that's similar. Sim wow. I can't talk today. That's similar to Aeropora, but it is so much juicier and fruitier and cloudier. It's amazing. This fragrance, if someone loves Aeropora, it's not exact same. The vibe is similar, but this is so much better. Like so much better. Two at least. Anyway. We are done with Terenzi. Let's move on to something I have here. It's more packaged, but nonetheless exciting. <gasps> oh, Aeropore is so wrong. I don't know what to hide. I think it's the um, loudness of the fragrance. It's a very bold perfume, just like Baccarat Rouge, you know. Those fragrances, plus there, are, there haven't been a lot of perfumes quite similar to it so I feel like if something performs well if it's like a loud fragrance if it's like bold and um, really catchy people tend to enjoy those type of scents so I think that's the vibe um, yeah you like diptyque projection diptyque has more like of this very elegant sillage it's like a little bit like burlap I feel um, a lot of people complain for injection projection, but I can feel the very well for holding. Yeah, me too. I have no problems. Um, yes, salty oceanic fragrances are trendy, you think? Maybe, maybe. What are the other ones you've heard about that you would say are uh, like getting a lot of attention uh, right now? Mm, Vanessa says some people say it smells like Pearl Roche with mango. I don't get that. Interesting, Baccarat Rouge with mango. It probably smells better than Baccarat Rouge along. So anyway, uh, here I have a package, a little package from a friend, Simon. And this is a shout out to um, a new perfume house, um, indie brand um, from London. That's called um, Rebel. Ravel perfume. Emily, please let me know if you're over in London. Oh my gosh, I wish, I wish I um, had like <laughs> a plane booked, um, a flight booked to London because I love London. It's like such a cool city. Um, here is, by the way, a whole bottle of jasmine and tobacco. Oh my god, this is actually my favorite from his creations. It's like a new um, niche house. Oh yes, this fragrance actually won't touch the new bottle. Maybe I will give it to my mom because I have um, 
the one in my bag that I'm wearing to work and I mean seriously everyone in the office literally like this perfume is so sick it's not like sexy but it's like wow it's wow and I also think it would work now but I have a cool job it's not very cool it's very stressful and um, I've had so much stress this week at home and at work I wanted to say mostly at work, but it's not true. Both are pretty exhausting. That my eyes started to um how do you say when it just like pul pulsates, you know, and you can feel it, you know, when you're stressed out, it starts to let me know. But anyway, uh Rebel Perfume, definitely check out Simon's uh shop. Uh, he has an Etsy shop and uh, he's also on Instagram. So um, a shout out to a brand new indie house. Very, you know, high quality. He uses a lot of um, natural ingredients uh, and very high quality materials. So this is like a must try. You will see me talking about it in my upcoming episode uh, of the most favorite perfume discovery of the month because that's definitely his jasmine and tobacco so literally sexy love it oh love it it's like a, it's like um not jasmine to the point that you picture a flower of jasmine smelling the scent and it's not tobacco-ish so you are getting the vibe of the pipe tobacco or cigarette smoke Actually, it's probably the question of uh, the balance, but everything in here is so perfect that I don't, I, I'm not even sure I can describe it as floral smoky. To me, it's more like very juicy and, and actually yummy, not gourmand, but like, mm, hi, Doni, I see you, um, but like, it's gourmand, not in a sweet way. It's like something that I would literally eat. It's so delicious. And it's called jasmine and tobacco. So it makes it even more exciting. Anyway, super, 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 super um, glad that I have it. And um, once again, I will review it for you soon. So stay tuned. What do we have here? By the way, we are um, having like an unboxing moment. Uh, all together. Um, is it the same Simon who is the subscriber and is sometimes in the chat of a different person? I think that's the same Simon, probably. Um, I'm with you on Aurora Amber Extreme Bomb. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a bit too much, you know. But I feel like people love fragrances that you can smell, you know. I actually had a moment like not even a moment but i i realized something okay i realized that sometimes you just want to smell for example this month and it's like a month a monthly live stream i can actually update you about what what happened to me this month i should i should not like you know run through the fragrance although maybe i should because i've been live for an hour okay let's do it quick Sorry, I need to drink because Indian food is drying me out. I went to Munich for lines on the jeep. So <laughs> those are comedians from Ukraine. Amazing guys. They're actually from my home city, uh, Dnipro. And they're from there too. Um, they're based in Kiev. And um, I love their sense of humor. Maybe because we are from the same city. I don't know. But... They have a YouTube channel, they're comedians, they have a very cool project, they're like also very trendy. Ukraine is like an amazing country because we have a lot of like moder modernity there. That's not the real word, but I hope you know what I'm talking about. And um, um, they are very fun and like sarcastic and um, their humor is pretty, how do you say it when it's like uh, sharp? I'm sure there is a, an expression. 
Uh, but anyway, um, I've been following them for a few years and I've been always laughing so much, especially at these um, projects. It's like a game. Um, you play it with a few people. Uh, one comes up with an answer, and you should um, um, and you should um, bring bring him to the left with your answers. Okay, so it's for example, I say I, you know, um, think it's a beautiful day. It was my answer, and you should come up with, with a question that will bring me to laugh, and I should say my answer. Hope you know. Uh, follow me. Anyway, they had um, a few other projects and they are pretty successful, but then something happened. I, I, I can actually tell you what. Um, they invited, like, they invite guests to those places. There, there are there are three guys, three clients, and um, they invite guests, uh, you know, some celebrities, Ukrainian celebrities, or other comedians, and that way it's all, even more fun sometimes less and one once they invited Russians and um, I don't I, I haven't followed Russians in like public pu publicity like never literally never and I, I really don't know them but I just realized like when when I put on that episode I just heard you can hear if someone is Russian or Ukrainian even if they um, speak Russian and I didn't like that. I didn't like that move from the guys. I didn't like that they invited Russians. It was before um, 24th February. It was last year. And I didn't like the episode so much. And I love the guys. Like, literally, I've been always watching like this. And uh, I've, been, uh, I've been really following them um, hardcore. But after that episode, I was like, unsubscribing directly you know I, I can understand people who unsubscribe if uh, they're like youtuber favorite youtuber uh, does a mistake but that was like too much for me I didn't realize why would they do that but after the 24th they uh, <laughs> transition to Ukrainian language which is great which the majority of Ukrainian youtubers did because they spoke in Russian, because the audience that way is bigger. Even I had my YouTube channel, the second one in Russian, but you know what happened to it. And um, yeah, they started to help so actively, like they volunteered, um, they um, created a volunteer organization, they've been streaming every night um, to raise money and then to buy equipment and just stuff for the soul of the change i loved they and they are very hardcore with their position uh so like okay subscribing again <laughs> so um they went on a tour um for a few countries in europe and i was just like i need to go to munich i just need actually i can show you the photo of them if you want and why am i telling you the story oh <laughs> Okay, at least I know why. I've been rambling for five minutes, but uh, the point is, I wanted to smell so good at the concert because I want to take a picture afterwards, and when I stand next to them, I want to smell nice. But it was so quick, I don't even think they, they smelled anything from me. Uh, anyway, I was wearing a fragrance similar to um, Intense Cafe by M. Bye bye bye, Montal. You probably can't see, but it's on my um, Instagram, so you can actually check. Um, and I wanted a perfume that will be long lasting, you know. And apparently, like some perfumes are strong and they project, but they are not super long lasting. Memories London is next. If you're here just for the perfumes and not my ramble, rambleson. Mamas London is an amazing brand and they created a beautiful rainbow collection. Oh, you, my order was carefully packed by Dan. Thank you so much. Whoa. I want to show the great work of Dan that he has done. Thanks, Dan. I hope you're watching. If not, then huge greetings to Mamas London team. So great. Cruelty free. 
pretty sweet these fragrances don't want to ruin the packaging but I kind of need to this is gonna be good I know how it smells I sampled it and I loved it you know why I'll tell you first let's get it out of the bottle <laughs> okay I hope that you are still here guys oh you like my hair color that's that's very nice of you Donnie that's very sweet it's yours to define it's mine to define for him it's called ego love the name do you guys have a big ego or not oh okay so I'm <gasps> I saw that much and I'm already so freaking excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Almost broke it. Not 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 really. Okay. So check this out amazing it's like you know like a stone or like something from the universe you know like like a piece of chalk <laughs> i kind of like it it's so cool and the bottle is black okay i thought it's actually you know like dusted but it's just a little bit dirty okay so the cap is pretty cool da -da 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 da 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 Let's wait it on because this one is, is an amazing perfume. How does it smell? Tell you in a second. Oh, it's a thick cream. A thick milky cream. Oh my god, it's like a thick fruit, thick leaf, thick milk. Oh, this is my Oh, mm. you know, like you smell a perfume and you're like, Wow, that's it. So good. Like, very fresh and juicy, fully tart. Mm, smells, smells of summer for sure. Like, it, it's very positive. And I like the big note in the opening. It is like so vivid and bright. And the fragrance is not on Fragrantica and not on Perfumo. What is wrong with them? Oh, this fragrance is everything. I, I, I think if someone loves thick, if it's like, oh my god, I love thick, it's my favorite note, or you're going through like a um, thick obsession, I think you need this perfume in your life. Because... It's the best fig I've ever smelled so far. <laughs> and I'm not kidding you. It's really, it's, a, it's, it's just a gorgeous scent. I'm trying to find it on their official website. Yes, here it is. So it says there is fig leaf, cassis, coconut milk. Yeah, so see, it's like green, leafy, and at the same time milky. Rose, cardamom, tonka, amber, patchouli, cashmere, and wood. So it's slightly powdery, but it's not like a powdery, powdery. It's great. Um, yeah, they were wooden, but they have a new collection and new designs. So they're like a bit of a change. And I like, like that. They have a lot of colorful bottles now. I really want to have them all. But let's move on. Let's move on to, what do we have here? Jacita. I know there are a lot of fans of Jacinta out there, so let me know if you like Jacinta, and if so, what's your favorite fragrance? Mine would be Oud Infini, cause, or Infini Oud, what's the name of it? Because it's like any model, almost skanky, super sexy, bold, a little bit aggressive, kind of Oud, but it's still very kind, as you wear it, as you know, as it's 
If you are like, okay, I'm not, I'm not afraid of you. Come closer. It actually is like the most beautiful animal ever. It's kind of like me. Some people I think I'm aggressive. I'm not. Big alert. Could you compare to uh, Philosikos? Actually not, because I don't have Philosikos. I don't have the sample, nor I do the boil. But I would just go and say that ego is better. Because it's like milky. Let me, let me actually um, check out the notes in, in that one by the tick. Coconut, so maybe because of the coconut that it would be, they would be similar, but I feel like Ego has more to offer with the cardamom, tonka, patchouli, cassis. Um, so the like powdery, powdery, fruity, uh, green fig would be similar part, but Ego has just a bit more, tiny bit more. But if you like philosophy, um, that diptyque, I think you will li like this. But anyway, Jessica, beautiful, so beautiful. She has amazing paintings. If I'm not wrong, she paints them herself, right? This is so nice. Oh my God. Like, I am literally spoiled today with beautiful presentation. Perfumes, they are so, so, you know, inspiring. Not only every scent is so special, but also, like, the presentation, the bottles, that liquid art, it's just, like, so nice. Oh, th these are her new bottles. What do you think of them, guys? They are kind of cute, right? Whoa. I like it has been the most difficult to open yet, but I'm almost done, guys. You can tell me in the meanwhile what's your favorite Jacinta perfume if you've ever smelled her fragrances. <gasps> okay. Ooh. Well, it literally took ages, but it's fine. So this is sweet. This is super cute. So her new fragrance is called Montre. I'm already exper uh, familiar with it because I smelled it at Exxon's. And it reminded me of my favorite um, Oud Infini that I already told you about. But it's like a bit of a softer version of it. These are so cute. I don't want to open this. And I have a note. A unique, unforgettable fragrance centered around precious Oud Paolo, surrounded by orris butters of spices, elegant florals, and noble woods. Of a family, woody spicy notes, rose to my saffron, blend of spices, a touch of wood. So, it's too good to spray it on the paper, that's why I will spray it on my hair. That's right, because that way it will stay longer with me. Oh, yes, I don't know, somehow, wow, we have a spammer here. Oh my god, where, I have literally like 11 viewers, where are they coming from? <gasps> Sorry guys, um, yeah, I, I don't know, she uses very high quality materials, that's for sure. Uh, Montre, the pen is me and I'm the pen. In writing, the pen gets lost, it becomes part of the thing I can't recall. Montre, Uma, Viani. This is um, Dus um, Dusara's father. Um, she is the creator of um, these fragrances and the brand founder. So this is very, very sweet. And here I have a note. What a happy day it is for me. Touch to his personality. Named after him, Montre conveys aspects of his character and idiosyn traits. Yes. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. The things he loved and believed in. 
as well as the fragrances he mostly enjoyed. Wanting to reflect the soul's eternal character, I went one step further. I imagined what kind of fragrance he would have loved today had he still been alive. This is so nice. It's literally a very, very beautiful story with a beautiful perfume. So it's similar to Udinfini without this skanky, sexy facet. It's just very elegant. So that is it. Wait, there is something else. What is this? Oh my god, this is actually very exciting. So I got like a bundle of some these oils, spices, ooh, florals. Ooh, okay, these are three main accords in the fragrance. Let's actually smell them. This is exciting. So let's begin with the spices. No, the florals. Mm. Oh, the florals are pretty cool. Oh, it's a rosy flower for sure. Like um, rose, maybe iris, maybe lily of the valley, something clean, floral, very, very beautiful. Hmm, a lot of the spices in here, uh, flowers. So these are the spices. Oh, these are beautiful spices. Warm, round. You know, I'm picky with spices. Not always I love the spice. Hmm, it's like soft and pleasant, a little bit like clove, but in a in in a gourmand way. Wow, it's probably the best spice accord I've smelled so far. <laughs> Is it too much? Okay, we have oud here. What is this oud? It should be very good. Yeah. Oh, it smells like alcohol. Very dilute. Hmm, clean. Not skanky. Beautiful. Let's actually know what we will do. Oh. I have that tuh, trancy, it smells like sperm thing, or seaweed, <laughs> metallic, metallic seaweed. Okay, this live stream is turning really long, I'm sorry. Sorry guys, so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I want to mix them all. Check if it smells like a perfume. Okay, I'm just putting all three accords on the same spot. So this is actually a very cool experience. This is really, really cool. Amazing. Yeah, now it smells like this fragrance. Cool. Yeah, I layer them maybe not in the exact proportion as they are layered in the fragrance, but I'm getting, I'm getting the vibe. Montre is actually beautiful. Would recommend everyone. Lucidia's range in general is beautiful. I like all the fragrances, maybe with an exception for a few. There is one that smells very masculine and there is one that I don't remember. There are like two perfumes I'm not crazy about, but this is a good one. Um, have I ever been able to smell new ilk fragrances on the event? I have them. Wait a minute. I do have them. Of course I do, because they are freaking stunning. And that's um, they are beautiful. Wait a minute. And I have them here. So. The new ilk fragrances. One of them is called Human, and another one is called Nature. And this time Bella did even better job with the designs, which were already absolutely wonderful. So uh, both fragrances are kind of like um, the relationship between human and nature. And it's in the context of a big city. 
So uh, we have this one, nature. It says the city sleeps, but nature doesn't. So check it out. What a cool bottle. Box. Polarable sense. Inspired by human nature. And here you have seats. Very nice. And the picture. With the story in the back. The city sleeps, but nature never does. An olfactory glimpse at a nature's blossoming flora in close proximity crystal to cheek with the human experience of city living as the sun rises on a new day. Morning dew adorns the waxy green ivy that scales the sun-soaked balcony. Needles jostle with the marsh marigold along the edge of the canal and the roadside geraniums, despite their dusty feet, tends to the hum of the honeybee overhead. Oh my god, that, that's just like poetic. Magnolias turn their face towards the sadly warm of the canopy of their basement flames. Amongst the bracken um, at the edge of the skulking urban woodland, the brazen fox retreats to his den. A warm sign of uh, contentment rises from the carpet of leaves blanketing the forest floor as the earth begins to pulse. Um, synopsis crackle. It's a new day, people of the city. They stretch their tired limbs towards the arching blue above. In the final chapter of your dreams, nature brushed its sweet sand gently over the sky with a smile. It's a new day and we smile back. So, <laughs> Bella, who is a co-founder, of this brand is fantastic we had like the best lunch with her a lot of laughs and uh, when I said that this is even better design first of all it's green color and I said I love green second of all look at this cap you have seats in there inside and I love how contemporary it is the perfume is perfect tea scent clean and there's almost like a matcha thing going on so beautiful a little bit like not masculine but i think on man it would be extra beautiful you know so this is amazing um no it's green ivy morning dew patchouli needle magnolia or maybe matcha was in the other one i'm not sure uh, but yeah very beautiful i will quickly show you the other one which is called Human, and it's white nose, uh, warm hands, and concrete walls. So, the same idea, beautiful box with beautiful cards, and the color is brownish. Very, very nice design. Once again, I'm amazed uh, by the designs. And this uh, fragrance has skin accord um, cellophane, Rice, ginger, and musk. This one is probably my would be my favorite because this ginger note in there it's just it makes it like you know like pitch everything. So a scented snapshot devoid of nature, manufactured uh, and human only. Hard steel, smooth concrete, warm skin. Man-made materials drumming with the pulse of human experience, both domestic and shared. So I love Bella's expressions her energy. She's like an amazing human, very inspiring. And her two fragrances are limited, so grab them while you can. And I should actually have an affiliate um, link, but not yet. By the way, I smell amazing. Let's do something to this hair. And open two last packages, one of which almost got lost, but I still got my Galahar. How exciting! Galahar. Filter is called brand from Texas. And uh, these fragrances are brand new. Can you open the very well. I need to say lip wrapped. Whoa, that would be 
dangerous if, if it went wrong. Let's 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 open it. Let's let's open it. Let's let's open it. Okay. Do you like Galahar diamonds? If someone loves intense perfumes, hi, JC Russell. Oh, I smell like all the fragrances we've unboxed so far, and there have been literally like ten. <gasps> Opening and everything is coming out. Ah, okay. Ta da! For maximum joy, spray generously. Says, says the box. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. I'm so excited. <laughs> Can you tell? It's very exciting. And I just can't hide it. Da, 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 I think I like it. Okay, so we have two new perfumes, one of which is by Galahad Fragrances. This is uh, 50 ml of the new perfume Mist of Time, made in the United States of America, Texas. And main notes are candied orange, mandarin, black currant, patchouli, birch, and mineral notes in here. So let's open and spray it on. Oh, okay, so this is like you know, an upgraded, updated bottle. We used to have different ones. The cap in here is pretty cool. Okay, so oh, nice, matte, black, very cool. So Galha Fragrance is unknown for their like extreme performance. Oh, you like Wicked Good? Let's see if this is the one that's not working for me always. Although it's Gourmand with vanilla. Weird, right? Okay, I have nothing going on right here, so maybe we should spray it there. What do you think? Or maybe I should spray it in my closing. I don't know. No, let's spray it on my skin. One, two, three, here we go! No, it's in you. Oh, there is something so green in there, isn't it? Like current? Gives it such a pop. Oh, sweet cocktail. Oh my god. The fruits in here are literally almost iced. And oceanic. Definitely in the Gallagher style. There is something green and mellow, melonish. I'm like, hello amongst waves. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, this is this is addictive. Very good. Perfect for summertime. Mist of Time is perfect for summertime. Honestly, it's so invigorating. It's playful, it's juicy, mouth watering, strong. Of course it is, it's Gallagher. Wow. So far, getting a lot of fruity notes, like a lot of fruits. Um, and this one from the brand Pearlescent Perfumes is um like a, a newer brand of Gallagher, um, which he works on with his wife. So the fragrances from uh, Pearlescent Perfumes are a bit, not softer, but I feel like they all are a bit more mean. Because <laughs> Gallagher sometimes is a bit more masculine. And if I'm not wrong, it was also like um, a note from his wife that she wants not necessarily rather feminine perfumes, but something that's going to be more, you know, like, I don't remember. You would definitely need to check what they say on their official website. But I love this design. If I, they are all, they are both super stylish, different, totally different. But I, I prefer this. If I needed to choose, it's, it's just so me. Like I like everything. It seems to be simple, but it has all the beautiful details. You know, beautiful logo. It says that it's a fourth fragrance fourth creation the name it actually the the font it um comes out which is really nice and in the back all the notes with just like beautiful visual designs oh, oh this in this box plus it says for maximum joy spray generously love 
if I if I had a brand, I would definitely hire them as um, you know visual visual people because visually I'm not so good. Literally, maybe I should ask my mom. This bottle. Well, seems to be simple, right? But still, it's nice. It's still very nice, like white, beautiful, and I believe they're all handmade. Like they, every cap is unique, and this color today is a green day. I don't know what it is, but it's it's amazing. I only have sample, but I really liked it during winter. And the chocolate patchouli is actually only patchouli scent or fragrance I like. Interesting. So Sansky. Should I first spray it and then read the notes or read the notes and spray? Let's do it without the notes. I think that it's going to be a bit more interesting, okay? Okay, so I have nothing going on on this side. Let's spray it on the shoulder. And get it a sniff. Wow. So right away, sweet. Vermont. Honey? No. Flower. <laughs> What is it? I'm not looking at the notes. There is lemon. No, there is some kind of citrus. It might be lemon, it might be grapefruit. And it's sweet. It's reminding me of, of soap. That might be weird, but I've just got like a soapy element. And alien. Uh, angel. Oh always mix up the names of those two fragrances which are both very intense to me what is it I, I need to check the notes uh, bergamot lime I smell lime that's the citrus that is really picking through lime course you're not I think it's too late a sweet orange violet uh, Blue bonnet. I'm wondering, is it like an imaginary note? Probably. Uh, honeydew. So I got honey. See, ginger. Yes, I get ginger. Frankincense. Hmm. Not smoky, not spiritual, but maybe the clean element comes from because I smell clean in here, and it's 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 a little bit odd. I need to say because it's so like lime makes it um yeah although it might make sense because lime is a very clean note it's like sparkling for me so maybe that's where it is coming from oh my goodness texas sunshine sweet and vanilla definitely the most fun perfume today for sure Aneta, please be chatty because other people are sleeping <laughs> not commenting much um yes so you're sad and not local in perfumery but the lady working there was nice and let me smell them samples they received quite similar to few other fragrances which which ones the Gallagher or the pearlescent baklava reminds me of monopter from the Duke. oh really Baklava is my favorite from this collection. It's amazing. This is a good one. I like it. Sunscape. It, I like it. It's my number one, maybe. Yeah. They have like a very uh, spicy cinnamon jasmine and an aquatic rose too in the collection. So check them out. Definitely a shout out to Gallagher and his wife. Beautiful perfumes, both very different. Very different. Oh. Mist of Chance is good. I'm liking it. And Sunscape is completely different. It's like honeydew, a lot of it, a little bit powdery, juicy, sparkling, cool. Anyway, we are done to the last package. Actually, I'm really excited about this one because I've never smelled this perfume. <laughs> so we are going to smell it together. Oh my god. Where should I open it? <laughs> ah, my goodness. Help me. Help me. The rose didn't wow me, but Baklava was nice. The new one can be nice. The new one is actually really good. Really, really good. 
Um, Yana, do you know if the fragrance would good a cup scene made? Um, see, Baklava reminds me of blooming a cup in Ukraine, you know. It was time right before the summer holidays. When it, because Acacia blooms in May and late May is like last summer, uh, last uh, last uh, school days in Ukraine. So I just remember the period like returning home from school. It's warm, the birds are singing, and the Acacia tree, trees are blooming, and their scent is literally intoxicating. So if baklava fragrance reminds me of that a lot, and it is probably the only perfume that would be so authentic and close to acacia blossom although oh, such a well packed box uh, although there is no note uh, of acacia you know tree in there but um it's my association it's all perfume but like as a separate note that would actually smell like a cassia blossom? I don't know. Sorry, but maybe someone knows in the chat. Maybe you can help. Oh, really? Hun Hungary from Maria Candida Gentil and looking for more. Yeah, I understand, because Acacia it's intoxicating. I could literally, you know, like spend a whole day under the tree. Because the scent is it's marvelous. It's no, it attracts birds. My grandfather was a beekeeper and had like a bee farm. And acacia um, honey was the most expensive honey. Mm, they gather it with my grandma in May. Because that's when acacia is blooming. It was like May honey or something. And um, yeah, it has a lot of honey to it. Yeah, but not like sugar honey like flower honey basically oh i'm almost done oh it's interesting i i had like um a live um test of maria candida gentil gentil perfumes but i'm not wrong but i don't think i smell that one okay so We have a beautiful fragrance here by the brand Tonatum. And this is how it looks. The box. The fragrance is called Bachi from far away. And there's just like such a unique combination of notes in there that I really wanted to get it which i did so it's called bachi from far away and now i just need to find place where to spray it who were was like um it reminds me so much about my holidays in childhood my grandparents place this yellow one but the owner was not very nice to me so I kind of off to buy more oh no that's unfortunate. Anyway, uh, Bachi from far away. Hmm. No. No. Yes. Okay. Here we go. This is exciting. Wow. Mimosa. Yellow. Oh, guys. If you love Mimosa, if you love powdery, very powdery, like how should it explain this kind of powder? Because powder is so different. That's, that's what I love about powder, you know? This is powder like a mimosa tree outside. Powder for your face. And, um, and a bit of a tea. <laughs> this is kind of powder that I'm getting here. I don't know if there's actually a tomato. No, because you know, it's right on the bottle, the tomato. It's so beautiful, perfect summer fragrance and so elegant. It smells like makeup. 
it's not like makeup that you're putting on on your balcony next to the blooming mimosa tree. That's it. I won't say anything else because it's just like a perfect description. So maybe you have you are snacking some tomatoes during the makeup application. I'm done. I'm tired. I have to go to sleep. I need to wake up tomorrow really early. So I wish you all a great time. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I'm um, not sure if you missed my notification that I'm posting. Uh, filming, streaming tonight. Um, but nonetheless, if you like my live streams, please give this one huge thumbs up. Really, that helps my videos to get out there. It doesn't cost you anything. You can do that to support me. And uh, I had so much fun tonight. Literally, I've been saving all these packages. Some of them have been waiting here for quite some time. So I'm really, really glad that um, I managed to chat with you um, and have, yeah, quite a huge unboxing, honestly, because how many fragrances did we open today? Who can tell? Around 10, right? That's a lot. I'm loving this fragrance. This fragrance is budget from far away, magnificent. Like a hidden gem. If you love Mimosa, must try or even must have. I don't know. You should wear it a bit more, but must try for sure. For sure, sure, sure. Okay, guys, I need to go. Have a good night, good day, fun. Wear something nice. Buy yourself a new fragrance. You can donate on Buy Me Coffee website to support me. And stay tuned. If you're here for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and activate the bell so you will be notified anytime I post a new video or start a live stream. Thank you so much for being here with me and we'll see you again really, really soon. Oh, yeah, I've been missing your comments, Aneta. That's why I'm really happy that you are here tonight. Bye, guys.